Hello everybody, and welcome to the World Cup first round match between Nacho Bill and Faladius. Nacho Bill won the toss and chose to receive with his scale, and uh, Faladius has the Lizardmen there. Um, Nacho Bill has a 58% win rate in Champs Ladder, and Faladius has a 66% win rate in Champs Ladder, however neither of them have really played much in Champs Ladder. Um, Nacho Bill qualified from the Abel, Abel League, and Faladius actually entered three qualifiers and won them all and chose to represent the new Ogden League. So yeah, Faladius, three out of three qualifiers, that's pretty impressive, isn't it? Um, Nacho Bill has got gone Skaven with 13 players, two rerolls, no apple. Um, the Rat Ogre, the controversial inclusion, four gutters, two storm them, and the skills he's gone Jug juggernaut, so he can blitz with a rogue, fair enough. Um, block and wrestle gutters and tackle storm vermin. Seems quite reasonable. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe she just blitzed a skink, eh? Um, normally I think the blitzing a skink is overrated, but seeing as he has a tackler there, it wouldn't have been a bad idea, I think. Um, I don't think Skaven are great for this format, but I think if you're going to use them, you're using them to get a, to get a rattle, but otherwise you might as well use Pro Elves or High Elves, which you might as well use Dark Elves or Wood Elves. <laughs> um, Flady has gone with Lizards, three blocks and a guard, uh, you know, seems reasonable. And uh, yeah, Lizards are super strong. He's gone with 12 players and three rerolls rather than three rerolls and an apple which I think is the more would be the more standard choice because you have to get a if you lose a block or a guard saurus or a, you know, crocs that's much way more means way more than losing a skink doesn't it replacing a skink I guess it gives you a slight option to foul 12 players but um, I think saurus is so much better than skinks that I really like the apple for, for lizards rather than the 12th man but of course he qualified from 3 out of 3 I mean I qualified 2 out of 3 um, <laughs> but you know if he's qualified 2 out of 3 qualifiers he obviously he sees some value in going for 12 rather than 11 plus I thought yeah this is the bad thing about just randomly basing isn't it like, you know people think Ah, I'll base a skink, but basing skinks isn't isn't all it's cracked up to be, because they can hit your back. It looks like he's going to go for a quick score here, isn't he? He's got the assists, and then just... Flayed is not really making an effort to stop the score, is he? You know, if he was here, there'd be a screen, or here. If this last skink was here, it'd be a lot harder to score, so he's happy to let him score on 2 on grinding. So, natural bill obliges, and it could be it could be a two-one round, couldn't it? So benching the thrower. Makes sense. He's just a lineman on, on defense, probably, unless he gets lucky. And even then, he's more likely to pick up with the gutters, isn't he? I do like having the thrower, though, in case of playing against war dancers. <laughs> it's funny how uh, how much, like, just the existence of the wood elves, you know, makes people build their teams and stuff. Lizards have the absolute best anti blitz setup. Um, Guinness decided to not go anti-blitz at all in his setup in his first game and Faladius has done just about the best anti-blitz setup you can do um, here so I like I like that <laughs> especially playing against Skaven oh, we would love the touchback wouldn't he it's the scariest thing in, in general in general with the lizard men is picking up the ball but obviously, specifically against Skaven, everyone, everyone here is picking up the ball against Skaven. Ooh. 
If you can do that, wouldn't you blitz the uh, block? So you don't even you wrestle. I would have thought. No, but then I guess he could have had an uphill for a surf or some something. <laughs> pick up if you'd fail that. So they could try and split the team here, couldn't they, Skaven? Rogue Blitz. And then bring people through the hole. Oh man. <laughs> Wild animal fail followed by the loner. And that's why big guys suck, isn't it? I mean, if that had worked, it would have been, you know, and to be fair, it's, it's why the rogue is good, because you just don't get to hit him on two dice otherwise. But that would have been really good to put through there. And then flood through. And you could have screened off and you know, it'd have been under pressure, but unreliable right Olga is unreliable. Might as well get the gutter through, I guess. I guess he will also be three dicing that got a runner with block. <laughs> Given his uh, turn one blitz. Might be best just to try and go for a cage dive here as the Skaven, eh? Wouldn't be bad odds, really. Like, I'm not saying they should rush into it, but... Certainly. It's not... It's not terrible odds. That he's kind of, he's doing safe moves first, isn't he? And he's got the kind of screen in front of the cage. Facing intelligently where he can't get assists in. And, uh, yeah, good good play so far from Faladius. I guess he's not going for the cage dive, because if you go for the cage dive, you want this guy available to just pick it up and score, don't you? Well, the cage dive wouldn't have been awful, you know, 55% in, and then 55%, oh, yeah, kind of 55% again, I think. It wouldn't have been the worst play ever. Um, I wonder if he considered it. We'll never know. Presumably. <laughs> Good mighty blow here. Okay, um. Yeah, this isn't this isn't bad from this game, is it? This is good play from both sides, really. But. You can blitz here, can't you? And block there, and block there, and block there, and get the ball over here, totally safe. 3D, Dudley Death Drop, hits the pal. He didn't go maybe as far as he could have done. Or maybe I would have done, but um, he gets a bit further forward. And then he just punch things. This is in a good spot, isn't it, the, the Crocs? I'd be tempted not to activate the Crocs there. Like, I would activate him because they're on the 7, and you'd get to maybe, you know, maybe destroy them. But, I think it'd be worth thinking about not activating them. Yeah, because if he follows, he can get two dice down. Cheeky one dicer gets the pow. Wild animal looking pretty crap now. 50 50 a stand up. Yeah, or he could have wasted his blitz. Which wouldn't have been the worst thing. It would have been better than 1 in 36 in a dodge. Maybe he could have moved people without dodging. But now, that's 
It's gonna let the lizards get right down the pitch, isn't it? This uh, lizard man thing. I'll think about that when I next make a lizard man team. <laughs> nice chain to make him more influential. His first for another in the game. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't his first he cast. But he had taken a Saurus. Surprised he didn't follow that. Guess he wants the tail on this. Got it. Oh, and then it's a double dodge as well. So that's alright. And now this is looking. Pretty lame, isn't it, from the Skaven point of view? I don't think they're going to be able to stop him now. Can't even really try to stop him. Maybe. I mean, they've got time, haven't they? The movement, the movement time. <laughs> got the runners are pretty, pretty busted. And just basing the Saurus makes it tricky. Obviously they're getting punched, but getting Skaven punched is never good. But if you can make something happen, it can be worth it, doing it. Yeah, not really. I mean, he, he's already got the ball he wants it, so the question is trying to get the crops involved and trying to get one of these involved, which isn't easy. It's actually not easy to stall this now, is it? Not so easy, anyway. You do not have to dodge. Big move from the crops. We bought it! <laughs> I think I'd have moved that first, and then you would have known what, what, what you could have done. But, um, huge bonehead. Did he just score? No, he risks it all on one in nine. <sighs> huge. I mean, this is really good as the, uh, the 1D now, isn't it? 4 plus dodging. No, he's, he's not really stopped it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 4 plus for a 1D. Oh, it's actually hard to cancel the assist up there, isn't it? So not really. Let's go with the tackler. I guess he wanted. Face the ball there, and he could have done the foul, and then he could have tagged the other. He could have, yeah, I mean, he's going to tag him. Probably should have done that first, shouldn't he? Safe moves first. If he got a power, he would have had the uh, had the ball carry base with tackle, which is all right, isn't it? has to stall out the half here because you can't give Skaven a chance to one turn. It's too easy with movement now. So he's going to have to try and move the side, I think. Finally one in nines on turn seven. First re-roll of the half. <laughs> Yeah, 
guess it's a big crocs activation. Behind a big dodge as well. This this is the problem that I have with lizards is. You know, it's so hard to dodge with Agility 3. I know it works 8 times out of 9. And uh, it's certainly working in this game for Falladius, but it's so easy to fail. It's like, you know, anyone can make you roll them. Like, you can roll them against anybody, but anybody can make you roll them. That, that's what I don't like about the uh, Stink Dodgers. And the... And the, well, the Saurus 1 in 9s are the same. And any... Any any stupid person, <laughs> any person who's new to Blood Bowl can just simply base everybody, and you're relying on eight out of nine shots, aren't you? And it's uh, it's not really good. I mean, obviously they're really strong, having string four players and movement eight stunties is, is really good, but I think they're not so good against random people, but against good players, they're pretty good. We do have incredible, incredible advantages, of course. Blizzard man. Wow, but then there you go, you can 1 in 81. <laughs> exactly what I was talking about, the lack of block. Um, means that can happen. <laughs> I mean, he had a free shot here. There was no real attempt to sack. I don't know why. Nacho Bill really scored in two. Seems he didn't really try to sack the uh, Blizzard Man. He just tried to stop him scoring. It was it was like an Inarian offense without an Inarian defense. Just kind of like a passive stall out defense. You know, it doesn't really gel with trying to score early to to turn over, does it? I mean, he would have tried though if he'd got the uh, wild animal activation, I'm sure. Not uh, not screening here. I don't know if that was a mistake or intentional. But I think I would hit the non block gutter with three dice. Another reroll for last. So, it's looking like over time the best. The best for ladies can hope for, isn't it? Really, if all goes right, he scores on turn eight, and then he's got to survive the the scathing one turner with the juggernaut rat ogre, and uh, and then the fifty fifty coin toss, and that's that's best best case. Activate him there because he's needed for the screen after moving that other guy out. Big pickup fail, doesn't really roll it. Gutters are coming straight through here. Which is <laughs> not great, is it? Might be an idea to blitz this Saurus. Good use of block. It's not easy to dodge through here, but it's easy for them to walk through, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They still get quite far forward. Well, this is this is a better defensive drive, I think, for the skating. Or shall I say, in keeping with the way they scored early in the first half. Better is is arguable, isn't it? I like that he's always making the three dice for the uh, solar splits on a gutter. Eh? 
I don't like the random, the random block just cause, just cause they've got block. I think you should maybe, you know, try and do things with the ball first. Screen in case he fails. Huge, huge one in three. If he'd failed the pick up, then he might have just straight up lost as well, mightn't he? Now nine players on the pitch, I believe. Yeah, nine. Eleven versus nine. He's got one dice on the wall. And with a little bit of dice rolls, two dice on the wall. Be interesting to see if he goes for it. Maybe his up might have been better. Like, obviously, he's got the potential of the score immediately with him. One, two, three. But maybe his up would have been around more players. I don't know. Oh, horrible. A horrible fail pick up there. But he was almost 75% just to straight up win there, wasn't he? Really? Three or something? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Might have been able to score. Wow. Huge luck, really, from Falladius, despite having not really put a foot wrong. Hugely lucky to still be in with a, uh, with a shot after that. Not sure about that reroll, because it's not really crucial, is it? You know, like, making that block, sure, you want this guy here. But... Do you have to block yet? Oh, two donkeys. Both Falladius and Guinness have, have done some amazing, amazing stunty dodges, I tell you. Oh well, having said that, <laughs> he fails his dodge and dies. <laughs> okay. He could make this two dice, couldn't he? It's not it's not really hard to make it two dice. The the uh, Crocs is in a good spot. Wow, loner he had to loner it because he was the only way he was gonna get rid of him. Oh, that's, that's where the gutters wanted to run through, wasn't it? The gutters could have dodged there and then gone here. Oh, they couldn't have blitzed from there because of him. I would have rather had an assist there. It was, it was easy to get an assist, wasn't it? I think. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Just punching things with Saurus. Really running out of players now, the Skaven. Natural Bill. The good thing for Falladius is as fast as Good run as well. Um, Skinks are nearly as fast. <laughs> so Saurus so, so, are so stupidly fast. To say that they're moving for uh, their strength four, moving six as well is pretty outrageous. These dodges though.
He hasn't hit the uh, skinks much with tackle. Has he? Been like going for the ball, going for souls, or going for position. I don't like tying up on the souls afterwards, but understandably he hasn't done any players, so he's got trying to push his luck a bit. I don't like this pointless block, you know. Surely with block, sure they might get a removal. But what if you what if you won in 36? Then now you've got no rerolls, you know. Maybe maybe doing moves with the ball first is better. Unless he's just gonna score. That would be a bit suicidal, but then how does he protect the ball? That's interesting. Just scores. It's better than not scoring. But huge favourites now, aren't they, this game? Depending on how many players they get back, I guess. Three. That's that's a full eleven. Wow, four turns, one reroll for the match. I definitely prefer the defense that Guinness used with the uh, Soros on the outside. Having the Sphinx on the outside means you can just blitz one of the tackle and get a through, can you? I mean, he's not really in a rush to get forward with having four turns, but uh, only one reroll, so he wants to do it safely, but that seems very favourable. Yeah, he doesn't have to put the gap straight away, this is fine. Scared of the crocs, isn't he? This crocs is like. Can't re roll that. No, Shawnee, no. Oh, I don't like the re roll. I really don't like that re roll. To use your last re roll, you know, I'm picking up the ball. The ball wasn't really in danger. Um, or shouldn't it, indeed shouldn't have been. He could have moved the other, the other gutter here before attempting the pickup. And then it would have been pretty, pretty safe. Do not like that last reroll. Out of rerolls. Mm. Problem with, like, you know, Skaven can kind of faint down one side and switch sides. Well, I mean, every team can. But it's a lot harder against, against Sora's being movement 6, isn't it? And strength 4. You know, somebody will leave a player somewhere. You can get a two dice blitz on them and switch sides. Well, the skinks run eight, <laughs> and the sauras are, are strength four, so you can't really knock them over to switch sides very easily. I think the uh... oh, this is horrible, isn't it? I I don't know. I just think. Maybe he played. Maybe mine was too aggressive to run down the side like that. But maybe his was too passive. 
Not sure, Bill, I don't know. Just run, you know, it's using the uh, reroll, I think, is, is almost certainly wrong. Oh, I have to base the uh, console. Two in all one, so a bit of a frenzy trap, but gets away with it. No, it wasn't this guy, so it's got to turn four, so it's... For some reason I've got those the proxy go. I'm I'm really tired to be honest. This is the last This is the last replay, I'm gonna do it <laughs> today because I'm really tired. Um so much so that I thought that was a proxy go. <laughs> hmm. So he'd moved in this gutter so that it wouldn't be a friendly trap, so that was good. <laughs> One in nine. Last reroll on that. Not sure about that. Again, you know, do safe moves first. No, no excuse making that block before this move. You know, I know it's a harsh thing to say, no excuse, but it's right, isn't it? Um, you know, especially with lizard men. Like, if if it's a if it's a guy with block, it's a lot more understandable. But when he hasn't got block, oh wow, he just didn't even protect the ball. Just two dice on the ball. And I don't know what Nacho Bill was thinking here, really, because he hasn't got anyone forward. But Gutter's arm movement nine, so it's not like he had to get forward. You know how normal teams have to. Um, oh, I don't like this. He could have just moved and assisted, and then he could have blitzed. This, this, I don't like. No, I don't like that. Could have blocked. Could have moved. Could have moved the thrower over. Blocked there. Then the tackle blitzer could have blitzed a skink, and then he would have been away. But he forced himself to block with the uh, with the rogue. No, I think he uh, I think he made a bit of a bit of a boo boo there, um, natural bill. I think just assist two dice with block, and then you push him to here anyway. And then you can blitz this one, and then you've got you know these guys can all run around and screen. I pretty much threw that away there. Four turn offense with Skaven. Kind of fritted the way the reroll. And yeah, maybe for Ladius, fritted away his reroll. But you know, don't forget when they're playing this, that there's a lot of nerves and stress, and uh, you know, it. it this this game will have lasted for an hour and a half or something by this point only turn sixteen, so you know it's been a bit grueling and maybe they're not they're both not at their best at this point. But I thought Felidius played really well at the start, fifty fifty hand. Oh man, he was nearly fifty fifty just to win, him, wasn't he? Well, four out of nine to just win. Yeah. Time. The, the Skaven have still, still got a team, haven't they? So they've got to be favoured if they win the toss. This is down to 10. And this has got the toss. Mm, I think it'll be a Lizard win with the Lizards getting the toss. To be honest, I think the... Uh, You know, it's hard to stop Skaven scoring. But, I don't know what Natural Bill did that half, really. Um, well, that drive. Especially as he scored in two at first, and then he just tried to stall it out. A bit strange. But Felidius was very solid uh, in the first half. But in, in a way, it's, it's not that bad for the Skaven to have the Lizards receiving. Because this is, you know, making them roll dice, they can easily fail, and then you got a chance. Oh, huge, huge chilling fans to get a reroll. 
Now the thing is, with with um, with skips being movement A, you probably can't just hold that re hold on to that reroll till overtime. Like, you know, till the end of overtime as, as the plus one. You're probably going to have to use it to try and win. Surprised at the non follow up. Last drive he blitzed the gut the gut run two dice this time. He blitzes the thrower, gets the gets the push power and removes him. Another removal. Not looking so hot for the rats now. <laughs> they what they were eleven versus ten now they're nine versus ten well they're totally gonna split the team in half now surely surely this is gonna be a bit of a pickle for Faladius I don't like basing I'd have just kind of like screened it all off uh, Olga Rolga blitz this guy two players on there. You can't block each other free. Yeah, base of the box. Thing is, you can still. Now you can't base the other guy. But you can. But one. This sword is going to free up that sword. Goals. Oh man. 2D hit on the ball with block. I don't like basing this guy there. He could have based, if he wanted to base his tackler, could have put it here, couldn't he, and then have an assist for the roger hit and still do the same job. So I think I would have gone with block just for the chance of hurting him if I knocked him over. But it would be an extra move, I guess, and then he's got to have the block for the cover again. So I'm not sure about using the reroll that early. But I guess he was pretty committed. I don't like that dodge out as well to give him three dice. I know it, I know it ties him up, but why not just move him to there, I think. I guess the pressure's getting to them both now. The thing is, you're gonna block him first, then you might as well. You don't need that assist of 3 DMD and stuff. And I guess he's got to be wary of. Not having any rerolls. So maybe that influences influencing his play a bit. You base the ball with a roger. Or you could just get everyone back. I think I would definitely try to get everyone back. Run all the gutters back first. I can 2D this guy as well, can I? Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yes, that was a good move to do that so that you could blitz. Push him around square though. 
wonder if you click too quickly. There's a there's a thing on Blood Bowl 2 where if you click too quickly it takes the default square. Maybe you click too quick. Or it's just a horrible mistake, but he should have pushed down, shouldn't he? And then he would have been basing. He'd been basing the ball with a with a with a with a prehensile tail and strength fire, which is pretty good. It's actually pretty good when your opponent has no rerolls. I would have wanted the 3D even if had the rerolls. I guess the bit tighter cage is good though because it is easy for gutters to dodge in. Yeah. yeah, so he shores that up a bit. Desperate now, isn't it, for this game? Fuck him. And get a tackler on the ball, I guess, was the idea. Oh well. That should be all she wrote, probably. Pretty crazy zero rerolls each side, like. Maybe there. There were some things that they rerolled that they didn't have to, that they might look back with regret on. But well, it's safe to say it's for ladies is going to win this, isn't it? Probably. I mean, there's still a few turns left, but I like that he doesn't make the GFI. That stun pretty much seals the deal, doesn't it? The gutter can reach one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The gutter can reach. At the moment, there's the slightest chance of the Skaven doing some heroics and something happening. I don't actually like him having two away because if he did get something, I don't think it's the gutter either. If the gutter made all these rolls and an uphill powered him, or he, you know, he could go on the ball, could go on the crowd, could get thrown in here, and Skaven could win. So, yeah, I think he should have been three and not two in. Sort of mistake I do a lot. <laughs> oh, well. Double one instead. At least he tried. So yeah, well played by Philadius. Got to say, I think he was very impressive in the first half. Um, I think because his time went on, the nerves got a bit frayed on both parties, and the the quality dropped a bit, but um, a good game, and congrats to Philadius. And yeah, on another day, you know, a, few, a, bit, a bit more dice. Nacho Will could have won, couldn't he? There was the there was the big pickup after really uh, Philadius had done nothing wrong, and that's Skaven, isn't it? You know, they get a bit of a chance on the ball, and if he if he rolled some better dice, he would he would have won. Um, so thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.